Here we are at the energy fair. Tim, what's up, man? Right. Hey, ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. What you got? All right, so basically the front half of the trailer is the wind system. Yes. We have the power coming in from the wind turbine, comes in down here, mm -hmm. um, just through a mobile like RV plug. Yeah. Comes into the charge controller. The charge controller monitors the batteries and keeps them at 24 volts. Nice. As long as they're below 24 volts, that charge will go into the batteries. Uh -huh. If it goes over 24 volts, it'll go to the dump load, mm -hmm. which is just basically a big heater to burn yeah. off that extra electricity so it okay. doesn't damage the batteries. Sweet. Then the batteries are hooked in to the inverter. It's a 4,000 watt inverter, about the size it would run a three bedroom house. Is that cart a 4,000 watt inverter also? Is a little yeah, cart out, out back? I think so. Is it? Goodness sakes. Yeah. It's a lot smaller though, isn't it? Yep. Sweet. So, comes to the inverter straight off the batteries. You can see the big heavy cables. Mm -hmm. um, 12 and volts. And you can run any kind of your uh, AC on this. It converts it from 24 volts to 24, AC. 24, yeah. To there we go. 20 volts AC. Nice. It goes into the AC system. We have AC outlets on the outside to run the compressor as a dump load uh -huh. or to be able to power kind of any, any nice. system we want to. Nice. Um, then back here is all the solar array stuff. Solar here is for the roof, uh, solar panels, and that's uh, 120 watts up on the roof. And it monitors the batteries as well. If they're over 24 volts, this one, rather than going to the to the dump load, it just short circuits the solar panels to uh. stop producing power until <laughs> the battery level drops enough that it needs more charge. And there's no detriment to the panels when you short them out that way? No, no. Sweet. Solar panels are designed so that they can be shorted, short-circuited nice. like that, so Beautiful. you don't burn stuff up. This is the charge controller for the gates, panels back here, mm -hmm. and a um, little bit different. The one on the roof, this short circuits. the one on the gate, one has, there's cooling systems on these two yeah. solar panels. I see that. Simple thermostat up here. Uh, the solar panels are most efficient at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And for every two degrees Celsius above that, they lose one volt, basically. Uh -huh. uh, so it's not unusual in the summertime for these panels to be 120, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, uh -huh. uh, just because of the sun beating down on them. So the students designed the cooling system to try to maintain 75 degrees. That's sweet. Uh, and they're controlled by the thermostat, simple on off switch. So all the students have. Uh, so all you have to do is leave that on, and it's completely automated. Nice. When the panels get up to temperature, the fans will kick on. The thermostat right there. Yep. And it actually makes enough difference in power produced by the solar panels in the voltage that they will gain 10 to 15 volts just by cooling them down with the fans. Sweet. So it's actually a net gain because the fans use less less electricity to cool it than what's gained by the lower temperature. Cool, Tim. So. Hey, thank you very much. Absolutely.